To the puppets of praise. That's right. Welcome. Yeah. Are you guys ready for a great show? I'm ready. Are you? Yep. Are you? Yes, I am. All right. Yeah, this is going to be a very good week. Yep. That's right. We're going to learn about peace. Ooh. Peace of what? The peace of God. Oh. I was going to say I like pepperoni on mine. Well, it's not pizza. Oh. It's oh, peace. peace. Oh, okay. Yeah, because God wants us to walk in peace and to have Ooh. peace in our heart. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. You ever worry and be in doubt? Yeah, sometimes, especially around payday. Yeah, but God, he gives us peace. Yes, so he does. we don't have to be afraid. That's right. So where do you work at? I work on this show. Oh, okay. Yeah, where do you work? Well, I'm busy in the laboratory. Oh, okay. Yeah, as Professor Wise. Chasing all those rats and bugs I heard about? Could be. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, we got a great show for you kids. That's right. Yeah, and you're going to have fun today learning about peace. And we got to continue about the stealing. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, stealing's not good, you know. It's one of the Ten Commandments. I know it is. Yeah. Thou shalt not steal. That's right. And we're going to learn more about that today. Yep. But right now, we've got a skit for you. Ooh. And it's called Peace. Peace. And here it is. Help! Help! I can't believe it! Quick! Someone call the fire department! Call the police! Call the National Guard! Help! Hey! What are you so excited about? What's all the commotion for? Someone stole my bicycle. I can't believe it. Well, did you see them? No, but they stole my bicycle right off the porch. They cut the chain and everything. We've got to call the police, call the fire department, call the National Guard, the FBI, call an ambulance! Now, wait a minute. What do you need an ambulance for? Because I'm about to have a heart attack. Uh, no, you're not. Now, now, just calm down. You need to trust God. You need the peace of God in your heart. You know, it's one of the fruits of the Spirit. Trust God? We need to trust the police. I'll have peace when I get my bike back. Oh, where's your faith in God? He said he would never leave you and he would never forsake you. Having the peace of God in your heart is no matter what happens, whether it's good or bad, you know that God is in control. But how will that get my bike back? Well, worry, doubt, fear, these are the opposite of having faith in God. The Bible says in Hebrews 11:6, without faith it's impossible to please God. Having the peace of God is knowing that everything is in his hands. We must give God complete control of every situation. And how do we do that? By prayer. Jesus said that God would give us anything that we ask the Father in Jesus' name. 
You pray and I'll agree with you. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, please help me to have peace in my heart. Not to worry, but to trust you. And we ask in Jesus' name that you help us to get my bike back. Thank you, and in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks, Mike. Sure. Just remember to trust God. Let his peace be in your heart always. Okay. Hey, Mike, you know it's been four days since my bike was stolen, and we haven't heard anything yet. I know God's going to get my bike back, but how long will it take? Well, I don't know. Just keep trusting in God. Don't give up no matter how long it takes. Okay, it's hard, but I'm not giving up. All right. Joey, Mike, the police just found Joey's bike. We have to go to the police station to pick it up. Yee-ha! God answered our prayer. Yes, he sure did. And he always does. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right. Well, how did you like that? Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that was good. It'd been even better if I was in it. Well, maybe. Oh, okay. But it's not up to me, you know. Do I have to take that up with the management? Well, you probably do. How about that girl in the control room? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> but we better keep moving along. I think so. So this is a song now about the peace of the Lord. And here it is, peace. Let the peace of the Lord rule in your heart, rule in your heart, rule in your heart. Let the peace of the Lord rule in your heart, rule Let the peace of the Lord rule in your heart, rule in your heart, rule in your heart. Let the peace of the Lord rule. good song wasn't yeah, it yeah that was a good one yeah we're gonna have a good skit this is about the stealing and how God returned what they lost oh okay yeah so That's we better a good thing. we better tune in huh yep I'm tuned in are okay. you okay are you guys watching you're gonna have fun watch this watch this
Hello, Professor. How are you today? Hello, Sam. I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the Wisdom Laboratory. I'm going to show you how to do what's right and what happens when you do wrong. Now, Sam, are you ready? Yeah, sure. I guess so. What are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to learn the right way to handle money. God wants us to use money very wisely. You mean the money people ha ha that people have was given to them by God? Yes, that's right, Sam. The Bible says that the gold and the silver is God's. And in Luke 6.38, it says, Give, and it will be given back to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. So, I'm going to give you this $500. Would you like that? Yeah! Okay. Well, here you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy, $500. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! $500. Right. <laughs> yeah, you, you're very happy now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, how about, would you like to give some of that away to a charity? No. You wouldn't? Oh, so no. you want to keep it all to yourself, is that right? Yeah. Oh, ow, 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 ouch. Ooh, that looks painful. Well, you see, children, don't be selfish with what God has given to you. Well, our time's up, and Sam looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh! I better find that first aid kit. Oh! See you later. Join Professor Wise next week when we learn about stealing. <laughs> Professor, are you in here? Oh, yes, Sam. I'm over here. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing better, but my eye still hurts. I don't know why they thought my face was a punching bag. Did the cops find the thieves? Well, yes, they did. And... All the money was recovered. Great. I sure could use it. Where is it? Uh, Sam, I have the money. And after I gave it to you, you were unwilling to share it with others. Remember, I said, give, and it will be given back to you. Well, you didn't want to give. You didn't want to share it with anyone else. The Bible says that if you are faithful in what is least, then you can also be faithful in much. So when you can be trusted with a little amount, then you can also be trusted with a lot. Well, I guess this means I don't get the whole $500 back, does it? Well, you guess correct, Sam. Well, do I get any? Well, here, let's try $5. Oh. Well, Professor, that, that's not a lot. Um, well, how can I show that I can be faithful with just $5? Well, you got to learn to be creative. You know, there are many different ways to help others. You could use the money to try to make more money. Learn to be creative, Sam. Use your mind. Be creative, he says. I could be real creative with... $500. Oh, Sam. You know, in Luke chapter 7, chapter 19, Jesus taught about a man that gave his servants each some money. They were to use the money to do business and to make more money. Those that were faithful would end up getting more. So, you got to learn to be creative. Ask God how he can help you to be faithful with the money that you were given. Well, okay, Professor. I'll see what I can do. Well, good, Sam. That's more like it. 
That's why I like to spend so much time in this lab. I can be creative in taking two or more different materials and combining them and making something new. Wow, I guess I never thought of it that way. I'm going to go home and see what I can do with this $5 you gave me. Thanks, Professor. I won't let you down. That's the right attitude, Sam. And I'm sure you'll do well. Oh, bye, Professor. Okay, Sam. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, that was pretty good. It you know? was cool. Yeah. And, boy, I was... It was pretty neat when Sam got worried about the needle, huh? Yeah, I'd, I'd be a little nervous, too. You weren't really going to poke Sam with that needle, were you? Oh, no, of course not. Yeah, that's good. But that, that he needed be good. to be taught a lesson. Yes, he did. And right now, we got a new song for you kids. Oh, goody. Yeah. Are you going to sing it? Cross My Heart. No, I gave that up a long time ago. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. So here it is, kids. Cross My Heart. That was a good song, wasn't yeah, that, it? Yeah, I like that song. That was cool. Yeah. Well, make sure that you're tuning in to watch the Puppets of Praise next week. That's right. We'll be here next week, won't we? Yeah. Okay. We're going to have a good time That's right. learning about strength. Ooh. Yeah, do you have any strength? Well, let's see. In my head. Well, what about in the Lord? Oh, well, that's, that's a good thing to have, too. Yeah, and that's what next week's going to be about. Cool. So you tune in to us, kids, and watch the Puppets of Praise. That's right. So until then, God bless you, and we'll see you later, okay? Bye. Bye. Hi, kids. We hope that you enjoyed the Puppets of Praise once again. Uh, my name's Todd Stillings, and uh, 
we had a good time learning about peace, about uh, stealing, and uh, how it's not good to steal. You know, God doesn't want us to steal. Uh, stealing is another one of those Ten Commandments. He says, don't steal, don't take from your neighbor falsely. Uh, that's not what God wants us to do. And learning about peace, uh, I want to read this scripture to you. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, it says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Peace, when we allow the peace of God, uh, it can guard our heart. It'll guard our heart and it'll guard our mind. It'll uh, help us. It will uh, watch over us when we allow peace uh, in our life. Uh, not being uh, afraid, not uh, worrying and, and, and doubting God. You know, God said He would let, never leave us. He would never forsake us. He'll always be there for us. And we have to trust that God will do what He said. He said, I'm not a man that I should lie. I'm going to tell you the truth. God's going to tell you the truth. And God's going to help you. And uh, you can have the peace of God in your life. Uh, God has good things in store for you. And He wants to help you. He wants to bless you. Uh, he just wants to love on you. And He can't do that when you're worrying and afraid and, and not listening to Him. So, uh, just be patient and... Uh, Allow God to do something great in your life. Allow the peace of God to guard your heart and your mind uh, in Christ Jesus. We hope that you enjoy the Puppets of Praise and we thank you for watching uh, and uh, being a part of the Puppets. Uh, we know that God will bless you as you uh, bless us and help us with this ministry in sharing the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, if you would like to give, the number is on the screen. It's Puppets of Praise, P.O. Box 2001, Sandusky, Ohio 44871. And uh, your gift is tax deductible. And we thank you uh, for being a part of this ministry. Uh, you know, not everyone can uh, do puppets or uh, minister or, uh, you know, evangelize or be a mission, go to missions. But, you know, you can help. And that help could be greatly appreciated. And we would appreciate anything that you would be willing to give to help with the ministry. Uh, we thank you. And God bless you. And kids, make sure that you write in to the puppets and so that they can hear what you have to say. And be sure to include your birthday. They want to know when your birthday is. They want to bless you. We just thank you uh, for watching and make sure that you watch next week. And make sure that you tell others about the Puppets of Praise. Uh, thanks again and uh, be sure to watch next week. Until then, God bless. Hi everybody and welcome. My name's Beamer and welcome to WPOP Radio where we're not ashamed to praise His name, our Savior and Lord, Jesus Christ, the one we adore. That's right, but we also got to listen to God too. Oh, yeah. To hear what God is saying to us. That's right. God wants to speak to you and to me and to those kids out there. Uh, by the way, did you get your math homework done? No, I'm going to do it later. You mean your mom let you go outside before... You got your homework done? Well... Uh, I don't do too well with religion. But Dad, it's not about religion. It's about having a relationship with God. And to have Ooh. peace in our heart. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. You ever worry and be in doubt? Yeah, sometimes. Especially around payday. Helmet of salvation On my head I'm peace of the Lord rule in your heart rule in your heart rule in your heart 
Let the peace of the Lord rule in your heart, rule in your heart always. Let the peace of the Lord rule in your heart, rule Let the peace of the Lord rule in your heart, rule in your heart always. Let the peace of the Lord rule. Oh. 